Hey, this is John Petrucci. I'm here at Reverb.com hanging out. I grew up being a huge fan of Rush, a huge fan of Yes, you know, a huge fan of Pink Floyd. So, you know, these are, are guitar players that used things like chorus, uh, flanger, phaser, you know, vibe to kind of convey this sort of dreamy thing. They all use it in a different way. As far as like the, the phaser, it's like holy Pink Floyd all of a sudden. That's all you have to do. So I love phaser for that, uh, that type of sound. So that's great for that type of stuff. It's also cool for, for lead stuff. I mean, if you're a fan of phaser on guitar solos, killer. The uh, Univibe kind of gives that same type of sound, right? That same kind of dreamy thing, but a little bit different flavor. Kind of a little more spacey. My Dreamscape pedal. That's something that uh, was really an, another one of those incredible moments for me to be a part of because TC Electronics is one of the first effect companies that I ever got into as, as a young guitar player. And um, I used to use, besides the, the 2290, which is the rack mount thing, the, um, the stereo chorus and flanger pedal, which was a, a big pedal. It had a cable coming out of it and beautiful you know, chorusing sounds. And we kind of talked about, well, how would we make that pedal better, if even possible? And the idea was to, you know, to preserve the algorithms that make that, those chorus and flanger sounds so great, but kind of update it, you know, make it uh, uh, cleaner sounding, less noisy, get rid of the attached cable, you know, make it, uh, you're able to use a battery, have different modes on it. They have the tone print technology. And so we came up with the Dreamscape. And the cool thing about this pedal is that it sounds great for, you know, this is a chorus setting right now, for clean stuff. <laughs> and all that stuff and that whole type of yeah, that whole Randy sound I mean you, you kind of need chorus to do all that stuff um, but the beautiful thing about this pedal is it does do flanger and, and some other things, and it sounds great on distorted tones as well. But anyway, that's kind of, um, you know, how, how I use these particular effects, especially when you're playing those big chords with all those notes ringing. I think chorusing kind of helps to make those notes come out a little bit better. I've always used Dunlop Waz, Crybabies, the rack mount forever. I can't even remember, I never used anything else. When it came to the idea of let's do something together, and we started talking about a wah, what we came up with with the JP95 is this really solid wah that just has this tone that I've developed and used in the rack system, put into a pedal with a classy black chrome look that has these cool blue lights where when you step on it, there's no doubt that it's on, you can see. And I get the feedback from the engineer you know, who designed it and from the people at Dunlop that are saying, Oh my God, this is my favorite wide of all the ones. And I'm like, wow, you know, that's, that makes me feel really good. That makes me feel like the things that I'm looking for in gear, it, it's not just self gratuitous. It's like other people relate to it. As soon as you step on it, it has this quality that I, I connect to right away, which is this kind of big throaty sort of curve to it. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. 
and, and the thing that, that I wanted to do is that I wanted the entire range of the pedal to be usable because some, some things uh, that I noticed with certain wahs is that on the lower end, it maybe doesn't go low enough or it goes too low and it's unmusical or the high end is too piercing. Like down here, it almost has like a synthy kind of, you know. And as you go up. On the high end, like. Every part of it is a usable, you know, range, and it just, it has attitude.